Hey everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics, fantastic tech, and science from around the world and out of this world. I'm your host Elias, and today we're reviewing Rover, the new robot by Sphero, makers of these fantastic droids here as well, which you know very well from my previous episodes. So stick around and let's watch these droids some more. No, I'm just kidding. Stick around and let's review Rover. See you soon. Welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics, fantastic tech, and science from around the world and out of this world. I'm your host, Elias, and I have Sandy with me today. And of course, this is Rover, Spiro's brand new robot. So there it is, Rover by Spiro, the latest robot. Mm -hmm. I've got mine. You got by yours. The maker of Spiro. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I got mine. Uh, you got yours. Uh huh. My STEM club got theirs. That's right. So we got three between us. Yep. They came in uh, these colors right here. Mm hmm. Yep. That's the standard: the gray treads and uh, the the clear covers and roll cage and all that. Mm -hmm. There's the cover plate, quick release button. And you can see the PCB right there. And oh, what's that? USB connector for power mm -hmm. and a UART port to connect your own creations. But we'll talk about that later. There's the battery. battery. Coming out here, charger. Yep, very well packed. Yeah, it's very compact, actually. I was surprised how much was in the box. Mm -hmm. It's nice. nice design. There's and the little uh, key little for key. the battery. Roll yeah, cage. We'll show that. You can use that later. So yeah, it came with a roll cage and a developer plate. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna come in handy when you wanna create your own creations later. Create your own creations. <laughs> Love my uh, grammar there. All right, so here's the battery. And didn't you have some trouble with yours? I did, I did. Well, not with the battery in particular, but with the lights. It came, um, there was one light on when I plugged it in, charged it overnight, and still had only one light, even though it was fully charged. So something's up with the other lights. Yeah. But the, the battery itself is working fine. Revision one problems. Mm -hmm. There's so those it came color with some cards. color cards, that's right. Pop so. it off. Very easy, everything on this uh, machine here is very easily removable yep. and put on a bowl and <laughs> Very, very well user friendly. Off. So here's the key. I wish though you can open the battery compartment without the key. You know, everybody's gonna lose the key. You know. Yeah, gonna lose I it. think you can. I mean, you could use a quarter or a, a, a something else. Yeah, yeah, screwdriver or something if you had that's to. True. It's pretty easy though, yep, and that, that, that's it. That's all you have to do. Is set up and right ready out of the go. box, ready to go. And if you used Sphero before any of the robot, you've used Sphero Edu, the mm -hmm. app to reprogram them, and you can probably. Get started right away with this robot. Yep, it's available on um, Android and iOS. Mm -hmm. So there is. There he is. There's, there's Rover. Yeah. So that was really easy to connect. Mm -hmm. I already had the app installed, and first things, install the robot firmware. Yep, update the firmware. Well, that took about three minutes. So here I'm speeding it up for our viewing pleasure. Yeah, I think um, from opening the box to actually running it across the floor and using it was was easily less than 10 minutes. I yeah, mean, it was, it's very quick and easy. There he is. He oh, moves very fast. Very fast. <laughs> yeah, I had him on the table. and was worried he's going to fall down so many times. Yeah, you can adjust the speed, but right out of the box, he moves quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He looks great. Yeah. Now, here I have blue treads on and a cool blue cage. Mm. Now, these are not available yet. 
Yeah, those were with the uh, Kickstarter. We got yep. green and blue. Um, so those should that. be available soon. Hopefully, And I'm yeah. sure you might be able to print your own. So here, if you use Sphero EDU, you know you can program their robots really easily. It supports block-based programming. Mm -hmm. And because Rover is packed with sensors like a magnetometer, accelerometer, gyroscope, infrared receivers, and transmitters, there's so much capability here in the programming. So here I created a sample program to demonstrate the color sensor. This is almost like a spectrophotometer located under the rover, which is supposed to detect a color and perform an action. Be purple. It's not easy being green. Yellow mellow. Very creative. Blues <laughs> clues. And then I had to play, play a unique sound. It's a soundtrack. It awesome. does. It's a whole slew of soundtrack it's clips very cool. and things. It's really fun. No, I love it. And it's packed with infrared receivers and yes. transmitters, so you can use it in many different ways. So here I created a sample program to demonstrate the ability of receiving and sending an infrared signal. So here the green tread robot is sending a signal to the gray robot to follow it. Mm -hmm. Follow so me mode. So both robots are working autonomously. The green is leading, the gray is following. That's right. That's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's also compatible with... Um, the with other, other Sphero. Yeah, with uh, Sphero Bolt. Sphero Bolt. Mm -hmm. so that's you can pretty swarm awesome. and, and program them to work together in different ways. Yeah, so that's it's gonna be great. great capability. And that's something you find with every STEM robot. So right. That's cool. Well, it's going to be amazing for STEM club purposes, yep. too. And look how great they look. I know. They're really pretty. <laughs> yeah, I love it. it. Reminds me of Tron a little bit. I, I said that the first time I yeah. pulled it out. I thought it looked like Tron <laughs> cars. Yeah, <laughs> colors. Yeah, you can change the colors, of course. Mm -hmm. And it's got so much torque. It's super rugged. Super rugged. This thing is it looks relatively great. indestructible. Uh, it ran into chairs multiple times. Yeah. Uh, My students around. have run it into the wall a few times already. <laughs> so then when your battery runs low, it blinks red here to let you know that, hey, you got to charge your battery. Yep. So that's kind of nice. Nice warning signal. So I thought for $249, it's still kind of high for, for this platform. A little high. But it has a lot of capability. You can. Yeah. It's compatible with... Uh, other creations you may build. You may create something like a, uh, you can attach a camera or sure. an arm or something else, some other or creation. Or 3D print something mm -hmm. of your own creation Powered and attach it. And with a Raspberry Pi mm -hmm. or uh, Arduino. Arduino. So that's pretty awesome. It connects via the UART port. Yep. Uh, on top of the rover. There's also a USB port on top of there that you can yeah. put things into. And yeah. um, R2 approves. R2 approves. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or he's jealous. I'm yeah. not sure which, but he's... Uh, <laughs> so I did notice that uh, this version had a couple of bugs. Sometimes yeah. the color sensor doesn't always work reliably. Uh, I think they're working on a patch for that, and I'm sure they'll fix it right away. <laughs> and also the battery indicator in the app is not always accurate. Yeah. Um, so that's minor, right? This is a great right. platform. Uh, I think it's got a lot of potential. Oh, huge potential. At I home. mean, my I, I pulled this out my uh, first STEM club meeting that we had this year. I pulled Rover out and the kids went nuts. I mean, they were <laughs> they couldn't wait to use it. Even even just to drive it was exciting. And it's I thought, gosh, we can we can do so much with this. It's amazing. Yeah, and I can imagine we're gonna be printing our own parts. Yep. And maybe that's the plan. Create some other creations and attach them to Rover. So Yes. Other yep. teachers were equally excited to use it. <laughs> Two thumbs up for me. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, no, definitely. I think this has been, so far, I mean, I haven't had a chance to explore its full capabilities yet, but I'm very impressed so far. Same here. All right, so folks, if uh, you have Sphero or you have any questions about the show, please leave a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching Smart Robots Review. This is Elias signing off. This is Sandy. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>